Hello and welcome to another video. We're going to continue with some function pertaining to dates in general and they're very powerful and very intriguing. So what we're going to do here is to go ahead and look at uh, uh, how we can manipulate days, the dates. Uh, for example, if I have, let's say here, I have a date 07 and 06 in 2000, 2000, uh, 10. And I wanted to go ahead and find, find how many, what is the actual date that is going to uh, be three years from now, from that date, uh, two months and ten days. So we want to see the exact date after three years from that day and uh, two, two months and three days or ten days. It doesn't matter. In order for us to uh, see what is a future date or, or actually in the past days from certain date, we have to use a function that's called date. And date is going to take uh, the year of that day, okay, the year of that date, and, and we're going to go ahead and add a 3 to it because that's what we want. The, the month is going to be using the month function to be extracting the month from that date. And we're going to add two to it, so it's going to be three year to month. And the date is going to be taken from this one here and add ten days to it. So what I'm trying to show you here is that uh, three years, two month, ten days from this date. Here we go. So it's going to be September 16, 2013. If I change this to today's date, which is can be easily accessible by today's function. Look, it's going to be August 20, uh, 2019. Way too powerful to use the date function. It's really a hidden secret that very few people really be, uh, are aware of it. Uh, the same thing, the same thing with time. So if I have here, let's say, uh, it's one o'clock in the morning, and it's 20 minutes and it's uh, 30 seconds. And I wanted to see what would be the time if it's going to take me two hours, uh, 15 minutes, and 30 seconds to finish a test. So, in order for me to do that, first of all, I have to figure out how to extract the hour. Probably already guessed that there is a function called hour that will take, uh, extract the hour from a day at a time. No? Here we go. We got the hour. The same thing, there is a function, it's called minutes, that will extract the minutes uh, from a function that is, or a date, I'm, I'm sorry, date can be actually a combination of those. That's why I'm constantly making the same mistake. But uh, taking it from a time, because I will show you a function that has both date and time. And if I say here, minutes uh, from this specific time, it's a 20, uh, it's the minutes of uh, 20. And also I could say here second, uh, and I wanted to see what second pertaining to this time. It's going to be the, the uh, 30 second. All right, I wanted to see one more time, how long it will take, what would be the time if it's gonna take me two hour, 15 minutes and 30 seconds to complete the task from that initial time. Uh, of course, we have to use the function time, and I'm going to look for the hour here, hour of that time, and add to it, just like I did in the date earlier, add to it two hours. Then, we're going to comma, uh, have the uh, minutes, okay, and I misspell minutes constantly for whatever reason, and it's going to be this one here, plus the 15 minute I mentioned to you, and we're going to take the second, and we're going to go ahead and put that plus the uh, uh, 30 seconds. So this is how long it takes me. Two hours, 15 minutes, 30 seconds. Wow, this is way too beautiful to see that. This is basically, I got it as 3 o'clock, 36 seconds in a.m. Because we started with a.m. You will tell me, can I have this in a different format? I said, absolutely, because not only we could format it ourselves, uh, but we could go ahead and see how we could go ahead and use that uh, in the home 
and go to the number and notice I just wanted to share with you this so I'll be able to see there are varieties of uh, I'm going to go ahead and varieties of time associated with time there we go see this is added uh, added uh, uh, second to it but if you don't like this format no big deal because we could go ahead and look for another format based on uh, the customs functions see I could go ahead and say more you know and I could uh, change that because now look here all these different uh, associated with um, with the uh, <coughs> time see this is uh, military time so if I like to be that way without having the A and more of the uh, it's going to change it look again one more time I'm going to go to the time and there is plenty of the changes if I go to more number and since I'm clicking on time you're going to really look at the different type of formatting associated with time. Please make sure that you take advantage of it when you're trying to do that in the future. 1 a.m., go back to it one more time and tell it I want it to be the a.m., p.m. See, you change it to p.m., uh, a.m. If you don't want the second period with p.m., you can go ahead and change it as you see. So basically, we can do so much calculation uh, to predict what would be the the date based on how many years, how many months, how many days going to elapse, and we could predict the time uh, also based on the hour, minutes, and second that you would like to add to it. Uh, this is uh, again, I can emphasize how uh, helpful this is going to be for you when you're trying to be uh, dealing with all that sort of uh, calculations and project management and system analysis. Uh, the scope of different type of activities uh, uh, that ranges uh, sometimes like within an hour. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do something else before we finish this video. I'm going to uh, show you uh, uh, also a good function that you could use. Uh, if I have a date like this, uh, 07, let's say 02, 2009, uh, okay? And today's date is this one here. Uh, and so this is this is the day today, and this is the our day, the old day. I have a function which is also hidden. It's called D D I F. Even not, it's not going to be added to Excel when you're trying to uh, type it. So it's kind of like here we go. Now we start to see it after we finish it. So we're going to say here this start with the old day. Okay, start with the old day, and I want to say this date from this day, and go ahead and continue to show the difference in year. So I wanted to see the difference in year, and look here, you give me the difference is six year. You will say, this is, what is this? Uh, this is supposed to be seven. I said no, because between this date and this, this date, and this date it has not been completed as a seven years yet. This has to be at least today has to be already past uh, July the second. But if you felt like you wanted to get the seven because you're counting the number of the years and not you're not concerning yourself with the actual calculation, which is really you don't want to really tell somebody it's their age is seven because it's not seven yet, it's six. So you wanted to really if it's less than that day in the year, it's going to count the number of the years uh, as it is. Six. There is no seven years yet. If that's somebody's birthday from today, their actual age is at this moment. It's close to seven, but it's not seven yet. But if you wanted to do that as an actual seven, then you would have to say, take the year from here, see that one here, uh, minus the year, minus the year uh, of this one here and of course pertaining to this day and you will see it's going to give us seven so we're not really dealing with the exact day date here we're dealing with the year to year here that's the powerful aspect that they did it's really not going to give you the seven because there is no we have not uh lived it through seven years so seven years have not yet elapsed for uh date death which is the difference to give you the seven years. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you will take this to both your hearts and mind and start using them uh, in order to uh, create really a calculation that could save you hours if you want to do it manually. 
Thank you for watching. We're going to continue with other videos.